someone has dumped their Porsche here. That's a good bike rack. Very good. We take the right road, don't go left, stay right this time. Go right this time. Good work. Good. Stay right at the top, go right, not left. Good work. Paul was too fast for me to pull my camera out. He's flying. I'm a fucking seat, huh? <laughs> James, grievous bodily harm. <laughs> so Tori had this on my saddle. Imagine if I sat on that. That would pierce the nuts sack. So Tori had that just sitting there. Like, she's like, oh, don't, be careful. So like, why would you put that? Hey, little fat cubs. Little fat little tubs. Hey, little fatsy. Hey, little fat fats. You're a little fat cat, aren't you? A little tubbies. <laughs> little wump wumps. Thailand riding the bike around, it's so easy to get around here on the bike, man. This is fucking awesome. Get the train or get the bike. <laughs> Thailand, baby. Fucking rocks here, man. So good. This Porsche's just been dumped. Some side street in Thailand. Quick video if you're into cycling go and check out Duran Riders cycling tips if you're into cycling if you're I was just looking for a little knife to uh, paint the panel with oh nice good spot there enjoying my mango roadside this is a big fucking mango 234 baht You're riding the bike around Thailand, it really, it really just sets it off, you know, like Thailand and cycling go hand in hand. You get to see the places, you get to meet a lot more people. I met, I met so many cool people on the bike. 
and you see so many things, you get to enjoy your food more, you have better health, and you also do your bit at reducing pollution and traffic congestion. Get on the bike. And these, these crows are so smart. Like he, he saw the camera, he wanted the mango seed, but he took his time. Eventually, he's, and the pigeon came along, and the pigeon came along, and the crow just dragged over. Really, really smart, smart, smart birds. And they knocked, they knocked the camera over. Old V brake cross max. They took my one thousand. Um, at first, they did, it was a hundred baht bill that they ate. It's a gold digger cat. And then, today is a thousand baht bill. <laughs> I managed to get here on visa thing. Yeah. Um, you need to extend your visa. No, I've, I've got a six month visa this time. Yeah, they're doing that now, yeah? It's pretty good, yeah. We need more foreigners. Then when you see In the middle of nowhere, someone's left their rug out to dry. <laughs> this is fucking rad. I'm totally lost in Bangkok. We don't have a clue where I am, really. But it's a beautiful night for a ride and burn fat or burn oil. I'm trying to make my way to May Veggie Home to get some meal to carve the fuck up for tomorrow. Look at this place, this is one of the most expensive real estates in Bangkok, it's opposite Lumpini Park. This is amazing, this place, like, look at it, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It'd be cool to go inside, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. Where's that voice coming from? Is that a radio? Yeah. This is for Fat Flog in Melbourne. This is, what's his name? Rob Flog? There you go. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Fat Flog. No. Sure. Yeah. So, so what we've got here, we've got... Fish. No, it's not fish. So got, this is sugar. This is a Thai vegan restaurant. Soy sauce, chili, and sugar. That's sugar in there. Don't believe me? I'll show you. Just a little uh, tofu rice and more tofu stuff. Tasting. And these are really good. It's a Gin J. You can get these at almost every 7 Eleven here in Thailand. It's at the 7 Eleven, a Gin J meal. And it's just rice. It's vegan, Gin J. Very, very tasty, very tasty. And the Wi Fi speed, Thailand, 
Most of the time, very fast, very fast. Beautiful.